I'm Chief Warrant Officer 2 Eric Lejeune. I'm a pilot in command with uh, Charlie 325, and I am from Boise, Idaho. Unlike some other units, you know, they say their job's really cool, artillery, they shoot things. Our job is our fellow service members, uh, especially as medevac. We're there to help rescue them when they're in need. Our mission is our fellow soldiers, that's why it's important. Being medevac is a really unique experience because we are essentially on call when we're on duty for 24 hours ready to respond to an online within about like 15 minutes is the goal when it's an urgent medevac. Planning and everything you have going on, you have 15 minutes to figure it all out, get off the ground, and head towards that patient. We are rushing out the door, saving people. My favorite part of being a medevac pilot is that rush when you get that call that someone needs your help and your job is to get there. There's very little that's gonna stand between us and that request for help and that patient who needs evacuated. And that's my favorite part is, we have to do a lot of problem solving sometimes to figure that out, but we're gonna get there and we're gonna get the job done. Pilots in general, we need to be experts in our field, of course, but then medevac pilots especially, you can go anywhere, especially on Oahu, within a couple minutes. So we need to know the rules for all the airspace around here. We need to know how to troubleshoot the aircraft very quickly if there's some sort of issue on startup. So be able to be an expert in your craft, knowing everything around here, and then being able to adapt and overcome any sort of issues. Predictability is a challenging aspect of medevac. So we're on duty, you're hanging out, it can come at any moment, any time, uh, convenient or inconvenient, when maybe you're taking a shower and you get a call that someone needs you, you gotta go. Other aviation duties especially have more predictability. They know kind of when they're gonna take off, when they're gonna land, when the mission will be complete. We're there to support our trips on the ground, and so it can be any time, any day. We have fewer maintainers than some other companies around here, and our maintainers are constantly working to make sure that we're ready to go anytime, day or night. Crew of four, two pilots up front, a crew chief in the back, and then the medic. So all of us work together really well. The crew chief is the one who's operating the hoist to send the medic down. And so everyone is constantly communicating like, hey, I need this, I need that. We have to trust each other implicitly. They're helping me see behind my head because I obviously can't see what's behind the front seats. So if they tell me I need to move, I have to trust them with not only my life, but everyone else's life as well, that they're telling me what to do. You're saying the, the medic down, maybe 300 feet from the helicopter, that's how far our hoist goes. And they need to trust everybody else that the pilots are gonna keep that a stable hover, but the crew chief is gonna slam down in a nice rate of ascent. They're gonna hit the ground hard. So everyone's constantly being one, an expert, and then two, a high level of faith and trusting each other.